Hi, and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson, we are going to start adding some narrative to this page here, and that narrative is going to explain what's happening with each one of these charts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a, a new custom or a, a downloadable visualization called the Enlighten Data Story. Okay, so you can get that Enlighten Data Story from the Get More Visuals and you can download it from the the um, the Power BI Visuals here in this um, App Store. And um, there's a few Enlighten options here, but the one that you want to choose there is Enlighten Data Story. You just add that in. So I've already done that. I'm just going to add it in here. Now it's a fairly straightforward visual and there's two key components to it. The first component is the actual text. So we go into the... Okay, so the text is not... Yeah, you've got to add a measure. So the first component is a measure. You need to put that in before it's going to display the text. So we're going to put a text in here and that text is going to be used, or that measure is going to be then used to wrap, or we're going to wrap some text around that measure. So let's pull in the current week count of work orders. So we've got 790 in there. And if we go into format, we can see now we've got an option, a couple of extra options, story and data. So story allows us to basically write some text in here. So what we can put is hi, I just, I will put, this is going to be under the high risk work order, so high risk defects have, now the hashtag as you can see is basically a placeholder for, for whichever measure you add into here. Now you can add multiple measures in here and it will basically take the first hashtag that you've got in the story box and it'll assign that to the first measure, or assign the measure to that first hashtag. The second one will be on the second hashtag, etc, etc. So let's add another one in here for the first week. In fact, we'll, we'll change those around. So the first week, now there's nothing in here because we don't have a second hashtag in the, the story yet. So let's go back into our story and defects have um, Let's see, I've changed from uh, hashtag to hashtag. Okay, so we can see here, high risk defects have changed from one one, or, or this is really just defects really, we'll, we'll put a filter on la that later. I've changed from 1167 to 7900, so 790. So you can see the idea behind that. Now, what we actually want is to have the story saying something a little bit about the difference and the percentage difference as well. So rather than changed, I'm going to put in here a hashtag and that's going to be a placeholder. Just now it's going to pull in the, the total number, but we're going to replace that later. That's going to be a placeholder to say increased, decreased or stayed the same. And then we're going to put in here by and then this next one is going to be a percentage change. And then finally, we're going to have the from whatever the value is at the start of the period to the value at the end of the period, which will actually be the current week and the first week. So we need to create a couple of new measures. And these measures will be added into this field well above here. OK. So let's go and add a new measure. And we are going to just paste this in here and we can see this measure is a text so I like to just use text to start the measures I've done that with some of the other ones so you'll be familiar with that just if it's an output is, is a, a text string and we're going to go first of all and calculate the difference between the current week and the first week then we're going to use this switch statement I'll just tidy this up a little bit um, and then we're going to pick whichever one of these is true and if the difference equals zero then the text is going to be not changed. If the difference is less than zero, it's reduced. If the difference is greater than zero, it has increased. And that's going to be the text that's going to be returned here. Now I've just noticed that this has been placed in this, this um, the home table for this measure it should be work orders. So we'll put that back in there. And then we're going to add that in there. Right. 
Okay, so high risk defects have reduced by now rather than put the the first the the starting point and the end point, we need to add in a difference. Okay, so the next measure we're going to create is going to be for a difference. So let's go back now and I'm just going to make sure that I select a field within the work order data table so that when I create um, a new, if I go home, create a new measure, it will actually add it to this table as its home table. You can see it's added it in there. So the next thing we're going to create is work order count, difference percentage, current week, first week. So we're going to calculate this as a percentage, this difference as a percentage. So if we're going to make sure it's a percentage. I'll do that in a second. So the difference, first of all, the variable is a difference between the current week and the first week. So it stores that as a variable. It also stores the work order count first week as a variable. So these were measure, these are measures that we've, we've already created in data model for previous calculations. And then the percentage change is basically the difference between um, or the division of the difference by the total, which is essentially the first week's value because it's a change over the first week that we're interested in. Now the other interesting thing here that I've done is I've just wrapped this this um, this this percentage change in this abs function and all that does is removes the zero, uh, the, the negative, returns an absolute value of a number. So if it's a negative, it's just going to give us the percentage change. We've, we've, we've got some text that tells us if it's reduced or it's increased, so we don't need a negative or a... Or, 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 well, actually just a negative to tell us that it's reduced. So I'll just press enter there. And we want to make sure this is a percentage. And we just want to have it as zero decimal places. Okay, so let's go and find our work order count percentage difference. Here we go. It's highlighted here. And that will be in there. Okay, so let's go now and just make sure that everything looks okay in this data story. So high risk defects have reduced by, now we've got some issues here. Let's see what's happened. Uh, why is that? Let's take these out again. They have reduced by 32% from, and then we'll put the first week and then we'll put the current week. Okay, so it looks like it needed us to add those back in again for some reason. It was getting a little bit confused with these measures. Uh, okay, perfect. So this would be useful for, well, it's not high risk, but this would be useful for if we if we use the overall trend, but we want this to be high risk. So the final thing we need to do here is add in a, a filter so that we're only looking at the high risk group. So we we'll look here for risk group post mitigation. Here it is across here. And we'll add that in and then we select high and everything changes okay so we'll make the do a little bit of formatting so you can format two things so first of all you can see these have highlighted nicely so that's why i wanted to use this this particular visualization is to it allows us to put highlighting within the the text string of the actual measures and the measures are normally the things you want to highlight anyway so that's great in the story, we can modify the color of the story text. I'll just leave that as is for just now. Uh, we're going to make that slightly smaller. Make that 12. And then under the data, you can modify the size of the actual data. And we're going to make that 12. I just want it to be the same size. I'm happy with it to be highlighted, but just the same size. And then there's this option here to bold it. Or not to bold it. So we're going to leave it bolded. And I'm going to get rid of the title. And here we go. Make it a little bit smaller and then we're going to move that up to the top here and just align it. Okay, so that is a little bit of text here. Now what I also want to do is I do want to put a title on here. So I'm going to move things down slightly, make a little bit of room for a title and I think Rather than have the title on top of the chart, I'm going to put the title up here. So let's give it the title from this chart. And let's add a title to here. We'll 
open this up and the title rather than being the title that's here that's been added in we're going to put the text and that'll be hi high risk defect trend and I'm going to make that uh, I'll maybe leave it at 14 let's see how it looks high risk defect trend and now while, while I'm here what I want to do is continue the colour theme so I'm going to go in and I'm going to colour that text background uh, and I'm going to put a border on and the border is going to be this red colour Okay, so we've lost that red colour again, but let's go and grab it again. Okay, we've got that colour now. Let's add that in as a border, so we can see we've got a bit of a border, and these tie up nicely. And let's also put a bit of a red text along the top here. So we're going to do a title, and we're going to do the background of the title, which yeah, you can do it in here, which is... Perfect. And I think that is it. Okay, so that makes it look a little bit better. Um, we've got, we can still maybe sort of um, play about with these and make sure they're all lined up. And they look as if they're, they're pretty well lined up there. And then we can move this up slightly as a group. And here we have it. So, high vis defect trend. High vis defects have increased by 100% from 1 to 2. Okay, so it just, it tells you what's happening, but I think it's just easier to read it there. And um, you can clearly see the figures, they're highlighted in bold, and uh, that's going to start to provide a little bit of extra information. So we're going to do the same for each one of these. So all it involves, because we've got the information already there, all it involves is copying and pasting this. So we just need to copy and paste it. And then just update the colours and the, the text here to say medium risk and low risk. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to go and do that. Okay, so I've now copied those headers for each one of these. I just need to do a couple of little things here. So give us this titles here. And just get rid of that titles. We don't need those. We've got the ones at the top. And then we need to add the risk group filter here. And the beauty of this is that everything will just automatically change. So change it to medium, and that's going to change to medium. And I'll go in here to the Swiss group, change it from high to low. And it just changes, it's just dynamic, which is brilliant. Okay, so now we can see the high risk defects have reduced by 27% from 391 to 285. Okay, so we can see this one here, likewise, at 775 to 503. Okay, so that's the first set of narratives that we've, uh, we're have we going to add in here. Now we're going to go and look at the second set, which is going to be around about the total.